Well, most of us probably don't spend much time thinking about our noses mm -hmm. unless we have chronic sinus problems. Would it surprise you to find out that it's one of the most common chronic diseases in America? In fact, mm -hmm. it affects about 32 million adults. Wow, that's a lot. Dr. Mothen Kandula is a board-certified ear, nose, and throat surgeon, and he he's here with Advent to explain a new theory that might change the way you think and feel about your nose. Right, doctor? Good morning. Good, Good morning to, have to you. you here. Thank Absolutely. You. Now, a lot of people suffer with chronic sinus problems, and they they may not even know it. Yep. Is that right? Absolutely. I mean, there's certainly folks. How that do they do. not know it? Yeah, they they just figure that's just who they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, they're they're stuffy nosed. They blow their nose all the time. They, that's just that's this part of them. They're headachy, and they kind of just assume that that's the way life's supposed to be. Lots of folks I see are in that camp where they just fetch this life, and they don't know any better. They don't know any different, and so you know sometimes it's it's a matter of trying to figure that out. Is it a lot of people? Yeah, I mean it's a lot of people. So about you know that number you just said, 32 million. It's about 10 percent of the population who's got chronic sinus issues, and then there's that many more uh, folks who have you know, in addition to sinus issues just blockage those sorts of things. And hmm. so it's a lot of people that you know a lot of people who have trouble a lot of people don't know that they have trouble because that's all they've never known well yeah mm -hmm. you wonder if people become so accustomed to having the problem however it might exhibit it itself mm -hmm. or whatever their symptoms might be that they don't even realize that there's something else maybe that's contributing to their problem or problems yeah absolutely yeah I and mean, it's real common is that they, they just they don't know they don't know any better uh, a lot of folks and we'll talk about this in a second a lot, of, a lot of folks come to see me with a sore throat or an ear infection or their voice is going out and um, that's the main issue but then when we ask the question take a step back take a look around and figure out boy there might be something else going on and it's usually something mm -hmm. higher up you know and typically the sinuses and the nose are areas where things can be tucked away hidden away you can have an infection that's that's tucked in there that's hiding out that you don't necessarily know that's there mm. um, and it can be you know affect that area obviously and then affect everything um, you know downstream from there mm -hmm. well speaking of downstream that's it that's it those are two terms that mm -hmm. you kind of brought to us today that were new to us is the upstream and downstream yep. what, what do those mean in relation to your your sinuses? Um, it's basically, you know, as far as issues go, as far as the, the, those anatomy areas go, the same lining in your nose and your sinuses is the same lining that's in your throat, in your lungs. And so all those those areas are sort of something, if somebody's having trouble with th some of those areas, it's very common to have uh, trouble in other, others of those areas, number one. Number two, that upstream, downstream, if somebody's mm -hmm. having nose or sinus issues, that can obviously affect them there, but then absolutely can affect everything downstream from there. So the ears would be downstream, the throat would be downstream, the voice box, the lungs. So any, anything is going to get the brunt of that mm -hmm. infectious drainage that just the, it, it, and that's one side of things and then also if your nose isn't working then you're not able to use it the whole purpose of your nose is to moisturize air and and really condition air as it's coming through and if you can't use that then everything that comes through into the lungs and into your throat is harsh and it's mm. and it's not meant to be that way what are some examples of upstream problems that people might have as a result of a, a chronic sinus well problem? the sinuses would be as far as upstream as you get so you can't get up any okay. really further upstream than there because i was that's thinking about airway. headaches a lot yeah, of people I mean, have headaches Headaches. Exactly. Headaches would be, you know, that's the same part of the stream as the sinuses. Okay. So that would be, you know, that's, I mean, if somebody's having chronic headaches, nasal obstruction, stuffy nose, post-nasal drainage, all that stuff would be, that's as upstream as you get. Now that stuff is no fun where it's happening, but then that, that can also really tee off the ears and the throat and the voice mm -hmm. and those areas as well. How about for asthma, people who suffer with that? I would think then if, if those problems are there, you may have more trouble with your lungs. Can, mm -hmm. can helping your chronic nose problem help with... It, uh, decreasing some of your asthma symptoms? It, it can only help. I mean, there are many, many pe most people who have asthma issues have nose and sinus issues, mm -hmm. and a lot of those folks don't know about it. And so if we can get the nose working, get the sinus drainage out of the equation, get that nose working for them, it doesn't mean that they don't have asthma. It means that we've taken the edge off. And so that can make a huge difference. I, mean, I think some of the patients that, that have the biggest benefit from the things that we're able to do are those folks who are suffering with multiple areas of trouble. And we can, we can again, we can't cure asthma, but with, with areas we can touch upon, that's a huge weight off their shoulders and it's a different different world for those folks on the back end. Mm -hmm. What about sleep apnea? I've never understood that mm -hmm. it's caused by nasal blockage, right? right? And it's not. I mean, it's, so the nose doesn't doesn't make or break sleep apnea as far as you, you know whether you have it or you don't. If you've got those tendencies or if you have sleep apnea and your nose doesn't work for you, then not, number one, your sleep apnea is going to be more problematic. Your snoring is going to be worse. And number two, as far as trying to come after that and treat it, the, the one of the main treatments for sleep apnea is a CPAP machine. If that machine can't work on your nose, then you're really, oh, yeah. you're really, you know, kind of in, in, in a world of hurt. And so that's a lot of folks who have those those combination of issues. Mm -hmm. How about um, the CT, the sinus CT scanner? That's mm -hmm. something that, is that something that just you have here in um, Wisconsin? Yeah, the in-office CT scanner. We, mm -hmm. We're the only practice who has it. And what that, 
the key with that is all this, we're talking about this mystery, oh, you know, these people might right. have issues, we don't know. If we can figure it out, and this shows a picture of that scanner, it's an upright scanner, if we can figure it out, then we know. I mean, and what a scan does, it shows us those hidden areas that you can't see otherwise. Can't see by looking at your nose, you just, there's no way to see that other than with x-rays. Mm -hmm. We can do that in the office very simply, very efficiently, get that information and figure it out. If it's there, we know about it, we can do something with it. If it's not there, we can forget about it and focus on those, those downstream areas. Mm -hmm. I know that having that allows you to perform more sophisticated methods of treatment, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of people who, who look at that think it's very appealing to have their their sinuses just x-rayed or looked at rather than the whole body scan yeah, right. is it covered by insurance yeah, generally absolutely. yeah so it's, it's really always covered by insurance and um, you know it's a great you know again it's it's one piece of what we have but that piece really sets the table for a lot of what we, what we have to offer mm -hmm. I would it's say. important I think a lot of people who suffer with sinus problems should probably give you a call here's the information so that you can find out if you're having any upstream or downstream issues or if you have questions on any of the things we talked about today contact ad Event. They're ear, nose, and throat specialists. They're located on Mayfair Road in Wauwatosa. The phone number is 414-771-6780, or you can go to advent.md. Thanks so much, doctor. Thanks Thank to be you. Here. Appreciate it. And